Isis and today I'm back with another video and today I decided to do a different little video you know what I'm saying cuz I like to cook you know I'm a really good cook everybody loves my cooking you know what I'm saying so I'm like today is Sunday why not do a you know me cooking you know so this is pretty much bougie on a budget you know it's really cheap everything that i got is cheap you know and whoever you cooking this for is gonna love you because it's gonna be bomb it's like you feel what i'm saying <laughs> so today we're cooking some jerk chicken cabbage and macaroni now i already know how to cook jerk chicken and cabbage but the macaroni part this is literally is going to be my first time ever making macaroni so i'm gonna bring you guys onto this journey you know what i'm saying so we gonna see how this how this goes but first i'm gonna need a little bit more stuff for this wine and we just gonna cook it up and we finna just go in the kitchen <laughs> So, first is the chicken. I got some boneless thighs. You can get any type of chicken you want, but I just got me some boneless thighs and I pretty much marinated this chicken overnight. Um, I use black pepper. Um, I use seasoning salt and then I had some jerk seasoning as well. And I just put this jerk seasoning as well like i had like the jerk dry seasoning and then this is the wet one <laughs> so yeah so i used this and i just pretty much marinated that into the chicken you know it wasn't really a lot of this it was only a little but i just kept the bottle so to show you guys what seasoning i use this is the mal kind my favorite so yeah so I'm actually going to bake this chicken. I'm going to preheat my oven. to 450, you know. You got to take you a sip every time. You got to stay hydrated. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. All right. So, I get some aluminum foil. So, I cleaned out the pan, you get a clean pan, and I pretty much use aluminum foil so the chicken won't, I don't know, I just don't like to mess up pan. So, I just use aluminum foil and put that around the pan so I won't have to throw the pan away, you know, and I can just throw the aluminum foil away. Save pan. There you go. So yeah, so I just, you know, do that. So I get my extra virgin olive oil. And I pretty much just sprinkle this around around the pan so the chicken doesn't stick to the aluminum foil. So yeah, so I just spread that around. 
And I also like to sprinkle this on my chicken just so my chicken won't be dry. You have a little bit of, you know, so I just sprinkle that around. So, yeah. And then I massage it again. Massage it. Okay, so I just put my chicken in. I don't know, I just like spicy food. So I like to put extra and just rub that in, you know. So I just put that in here. But one thing about me, I just don't like my chicken touching for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Because I just feel like, see, these are some big ass pieces. So I think I'm going to have to do two pans. Because I just don't like my food touch, like my chicken touching. It makes me, you know, really paranoid. So I'm just going to wash this pan out. Wash and clean that pan. I put the remaining three chickens on this pan. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be good. Okay, so I got my two pans of chicken right here. You know, so the oven is already preheated, so I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. So now we got the cabbage. Oh, I don't like this lightning. Dude. Okay. So now we got the cabbage. And I pretty much wash it off first. So I wash it off. I wash my cabbage off and then I get a knife. And I just cut. I just put water some water in there I will probably put some more but also I will use um, chicken broth so yeah so I'm just gonna pour this chicken broth in the pot I really don't measure how much I put in here so I just put you know as much as I need. Then I will get some salt. And some black pepper. chicken is in the oven and my cabbage is cooking now I'm gonna start on the macaroni I'm super excited 
Mind y'all, I don't never, I never made macaroni, so we just gonna see how this goes. <laughs> I'm in your ass, bitch. I'm in that new, new Okay, so I pretty much, um, I put the macaroni in the oven. I mean, the macaroni, um, I'm letting the macaroni boil. So I'm waiting on that while I did that. I stirred up the the stuff or whatnot. So I pretty much used three eggs and one cup and a half of milk and I put some cheese in there or whatnot. So yeah, and I just start that up. So pretty much I'm just waiting. Now it's just waiting time. Like I'm just waiting for everything to like, I put two and a half cups, um, I'm boiling two and a half cups of macaroni. So hopefully that's good. I don't really know. Like I said, this is my first time making macaroni and we just gonna see how this turns out. Okay. Do you hear me calling? Do you hear me? So once the macaroni is done, you have to drain it out. My butter and I'm doing in the middle, I don't know what that is, but the middle, half a cup of butter. Okay. And I just put that in the pan, let it melt, serve it up. You'll know when it's ready, when it's like super soft. Like I said, I don't really time my food. I just know. Then yeah, we got the chicken. So. So yeah, so like I said, I put the mixture of the eggs and the uh, milk and cheese into the pot with the butter and macaroni and start that up. So you see I did half of it, you know.
So you see, y'all took it out the oven. We finna taste this bad boy to see how it is. You know, so we just gonna um, get a little. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Call me Chef Boy. Chef Boy Isis, cause baby, this is bomb. Look at that. Bomb. My cabbage is done. Everything is done now. So we just gonna gonna show you how I make decorate this. Make presentation is key. There you go. Presentation. So I hope you guys like this video. This is pretty simple, pretty easy meal to make, for real. The chicken ain't cost that much. Cabbage definitely don't cost that much. Macaroni does not, everything is pretty cheap. It's like, everything is like a single digit, you know, dollar bill. So like, everything is super cheap, but it's like a lot of ingredients. That's the one thing. It's a lot of ingredients that you have to put into the meal. But other than that, like it's super easy. This could be for your bae, you know what I'm saying? Nice little dinner, you know? Sis, I'm telling you, cook this for your man and y'all gonna live happily ever after. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when your girl posts some more videos. And I will see you in the next video. And hopefully, I'm going to make some lasagna. So, lasagna is definitely my specialty. So, lasagna, this is like, like I said, this is my first video ever. So, this video might be a little bit off. But when I make my lasagna, I'm going to make sure this video, that video is going to be like perfect to the T. Because I lasagna is my thing i love everybody loves my lasagna i cook it well so yeah so i'm gonna make another video of me cooking my lasagna and it's gonna go well and i hope you guys like this video this is my first time ever doing this so please bear with me and i will see you guys in the next video